ample note tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome to the channel in today's video we'll take a look at this note taking app which provides us the opportunity to organize our task with four level uh thing here so they have like jots notes tasks and calendar we'll discover all the uh like things here on their website it's really easy to understand how to interact with it so let's start from the main page amplenote.com you can find a lot of information here and in order to start with just simply click on a login or start your free trial with your email you can create it with your gmail and after that we'll come to the next page where we have this thing here so here we have our workspace in the left side we can find this small tiny menu we can change the view in the bottom of the screen so we can make it uh, a little bit bigger as for me it's definitely uh, easier to interact with it in this way so we have our account uh, thing where we can change some settings uh, do some other things also we have as I said jots notes tasks calendar and also we now have graphs here sometimes it could be really helpful to visualize something with the help of this stuff if we are going to uh, open our notes we can find the ample note five minutes start up guide and i definitely recommend you to read it by yourself in this case uh, we'll be able to understand how to combine four of these levels like jots notes tasks and calendar I'll uh, use it now for a little to show you all the ways. So basically the first thing we can do is that we can take a jots, then we can use notes to organize and revise everything we wrote a little bit earlier. And then according to the notes, we can now plan and prioritize with the tasks and then we can schedule and complete everything with the help of calendar. So uh, Ample Note provides us the opportunity to import some other information from Evernote, ROM, Notion, Google Keep and some other markdown files. Uh, when everything is done, you will get like all the jots inside of the platform. Uh, then uh, the next thing uh, that we need to do is uh, we can then like uh, use the jots to capture everything and write uh, jots allows you to quickly capture ideas and information with minimal directions and new jot is created each day uh, ready for you to log activity or inspiration you can work in the default daily jot tag or select a different tag from the sidebar to create daily notes for special topics so if we are going to open our jots we can find the uh, in the left side our daily jots if you're going to click on it we'll come to this page where we have like today's date and our information and also we can uh, switch between a different uh, hashtags to make it easier to navigate if you're going to click on it we can find that we have like welcome jot here we can find some more information and then we can just simply delete everything if we'll scroll down for a little we can find the history so we can find for the previous dates and so on the next thing is that uh, on the jots uh, we can now uh, capture everything and then uh, we need to uh, do some other things so we can now organize all the things inside of our notes as you can see um, we can now move to the notes mode uh, when you are ready to edit, organize and publish content from our jots. Uh, this is where you can refine content, view completed tasks and view backlinks to related notes. You can also add collaborators to notes and secure your notes with vault encrypting. See an overview of notes mode and tag uh, like this. We can also discover the video by the ample note. And here on the notes, uh, we have a couple of uh, things. So firstly, we can create a new note in the right top right up here so we can create it. And then we'll be able to add the name, of course, add text and then just format everything inside. So we can manage the text, add the to do list, uh, add basically some other things like bullet list, numbering list 
add some files, images, videos, links, uh, it's necessary to know and uh, basically to create our node. Then when we've created these things, we can now plan and prioritize our tasks. So what does it mean? While every task uh, lives on node, in tasks mode, you can view open task across all nodes and narrow the list by applying filters, expand the task details to assign uh, urgency, change the recurring height the task until later and more. So basically, uh, we can uh, click on it and as you can see now we can basically manage all the information inside like repeat, start, hide, uh, at the priority, duration and so on. The same thing with every single thing here. And the last thing on AmpleNode is our calendar. So what does it mean? Uh, we, in calendar mode you can build out your schedule with maximum ease and efficiency, set up different tasks so we can basically drag and drop them somewhere. So basically we can go to calendar and then just do everything by ourselves. So let's try to create a new node. We have it right up here. Then we can click on tasks. Let's take, uh, let's create a task one, task two, task three. And after that on the tasks area, uh, we can then uh, add more detailed informations. As you can see, we have some pre-created tasks by ample node to uh, show something and also if you'll scroll down we can find all the tasks we've created like this so here we can open this toggle menu and then just simply add some information repeat start hide prioritize and duration so as you can see nothing really hard so let's click on this as you can see yeah uh, then we can go to calendar and here we can now move our tasks. So I have like um, task here, uh, we have task one and then let's say it wants to move this task somewhere to like today's 11 a.m. like this. So as you can see nothing hard after that we'll be able to see all the tasks and according to this we can then organize ourselves. So let's discover the paid plans. If we are going to see, we can find that we have like four plans, personal, which is free forever, pro, unlimited, and founder. Uh, if you're going to build uh, annually, we'll have to pay like 5.84, $10 per month and $20 per month. As you can see, we have a lot of features on these plans such as uh, all the benefits from personal plan, but also download our native desktop app, Breath USS, sidebar note viewer, sync external calendars, six color teams to choose from, and some other features. So as you can see, Ample Node is easy to use, easy to start with. Just simply try to use it by yourself. And after that, you'll be able to decide is it suitable as for you. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe, and goodbye, guys.